Hi, I'm Josh Katzenstein, Saints beat writer for the Times Picayune and .com, here with fellow Saints beat writer Herbie Tiovi. Just got done watching the first practice of Saints training camp. There's a plane flying over us in case you can't hear me, but we'll get back to you in two seconds. And I'll just keep talking because we're having fun out here and it's training camp. Delvin Bro is actually about to walk right behind us. So, uh, you know, there's lots to uh, see today. Obviously, everyone's curious about, you know, lineup issues and health issues and, and, and what's going on with that. But, Herbie, I think the biggest thing that we saw today is that Stefan Anthony was playing weak side linebacker. I mean, how surprised were you, you know, when you noticed that, uh, you know, when the defense was on the field? I think it's a tremendous surprise because when you think about it, this he's entering his third season. This is the third time he's actually going to be changing positions right. again. Rookie season at middle linebacker, last year strong side linebacker, and now he's at the will. But I think what's telling about this, though, is – Throughout the offseason, we've heard there's going to be plenty of competition. I think right now, the Saints right now are just going to be hodgepodging or rotating a lot of player player personnel groupings through the defense. I think we're seeing that now. Yeah, no, I, I'm really curious to see how it all plays out because I think a lot of us, you know, were curious when they put Donnell Ellerby on injured reserve and they're going to eventually cut him. Uh, you know, it opened that weak side linebacker spot because really Ellerby was the one guy you could sort of think that's his best spot, and when he's on the field, He's probably the best linebacker. Now that everything is sort of thrown out of proportion, you know, do you let Craig Robertson work over there? Do you let Stupar work over there? I think right now they're sort of focused on Anthony and Anzalone to see if one of those guys, Anzalone, of course, the third round pick, the rookie this year, uh, because they actually had Manti Teo as the top middle linebacker and AJ Klein as the top strong side linebacker. Uh, but uh, what else stood out to you? There was a big Raphael Bush pick. That was probably the play of the day. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, wasn't a padded practice, so it's hard to glean too much, but anything else big stand out to you? One thing I liked was that deep pass, Chase Daniel to Corey Fuller. Yeah, that was as, good. as we know, during OTAs, Corey Fuller was sort of coming along, and you know him very well from your time covering the Detroit Lions, and just to see him make that play deep down the field and Chase Daniel to actually connect with him down the field, I thought that was one of those eye-popping moments. Yeah, that was a good one. Probably got to go add that to my training camp observations. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for today. When when there's padded practices, we'll have a lot more for you. But go to NOLA.com slash Saints to see all of our stuff. Check back with us on Facebook Live again tomorrow, and we'll talk to you soon.